Radio grade 11 EGD learners, we're going to start you off in episode 2 with discussing the very first pages of your actual presentation requirements for your EGD civil PAT. Now, in your PAT document on page 10, it reads, analyze a given scenario and formulate a design brief in two paragraphs. Okay, the first paragraph must, in your own words, now, I like that because that's very important. Include a brief background to the project as well as detailed and comprehensive description of what has to be designed. Okay, that's your first paragraph. Your second paragraph must again, in your own words, give a clear overview of your role in this project as well as the design process that you're going to follow to arrive at the proposed solution. Now, if you remember correctly, the actual document which, we, which I talked through in episode one, we highlighted a couple of parts that's very important. In the first instance, in this pad, you are going to design a basic first aid room and a clubhouse for meeting social functions and outdoor concerts. And then they say it must be a single story clubhouse building with a large concrete deck that serves additional space, again, social functions, viewing area, and a stage for outdoor concerts. Okay, so if I now need to frame your first requirements, which is your introduction paragraph, then you're going to make sure that your first paragraph is in your own words, basically saying something like, I'm going to design a new clubhouse with a concrete deck for a local municipality, which can be used for meetings, social functions, and outdoor concerts. Basically, that states the primary uh, 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 problem that you're going to solve and you can elaborate a little bit on that description using some of the wording that we've highlighted here. The second paragraph must again be in your own words and now you're going to give an overview of the process that's going to be followed. So you're going to state that in order to design uh, this clubhouse and concrete deck, I'm going to start off with first of all doing research and then you're going to highlight the things that you're going to do research on. I'm going to do two concept designs. I'm then going to do working drawings, which will be a floor plan, elevations, and a sectional elevation. Okay, and a two-point perspective. That's basically explaining to them the process that's going to follow. And I'm going to give you an example of this. Now, this is a previous year's work, so you can't copy this, of course, word for word. But it actually shows you in detail. You're going to have a clear heading on this page. You're going to, your first paragraph must be numbered 1.1. And you can give it a heading, comprehensive description of the problem or what to design. And then you're going to give a paragraph in your own words explaining what is that scenario. The second paragraph, 1.2, will be your role. And here you're going to elaborate then on the actual process that's going to be followed. After that, it's going to be your specifications, which will be 1.3, and your constraints, 1.4, which I'm going to talk you through in a moment. So, from this scenario, your teacher's management plan, include the following as part of the design brief. Okay, on this page, it's one page, right? Identify all the given specifications, so there's going to be at least 20 here. List three possible constraints, that's things that's hindering you, that's restrictions on you. You're going to have three there. Then you're going to have to come up with a management plan which specifies target dates for the completion of each presentation requirement. I'm going to show you an example of how this management plan looks like. So for you to get your specifications, okay, you're going to go back to this document and now we are going to really dive deep into this. You're going to take your second page here, I'm going to use my green, and let's look at the first paragraph here, of course, states what has been given to us. It says current facilities, netball courts, last grass, sports field, pavilion, etc. All right. Now, the new clubhouse. So now you can uh, highlight the new clubhouse must have what? Must not exceed 180 square meters. First specification. Must be single story building. Second specification. Covered by conventional pitch roof. Third specification. The 180 square meters excludes the concrete deck, another specification. The clubhouse must consist of the following. So what must be in the clubhouse? An open area of approximately 70 square meters, specification, where at least 50 people may be seated for functions, another specification. There must be a small kitchen, 
specification. What must be in the kitchen? A fridge, stove, double zinc, hand wash basin. And so you're going to go through this and highlight every possible specification until you have a good understanding of what is the requirements here. My advice on you for you on how to do this is take a separate page, okay, and start yourself off. Have these two pages next to each other. And just as a rough draft, we're going to start here. So we've got the new clubhouse, okay? Okay, in the new clubhouse, here's the specifications. May not exceed 180 square meters. Second one. Third one. Fourth one, 180 square meters excludes the... Okay, so here we already have four specifications with regard to the new clubhouse. 180 square meters may not exceed that. Single story, pitch roof, 180 square meters excludes the concrete deck. The clubhouse must have 70 square... Again, it's still under clubhouse, 70 square meters of seating. Right? So in this way, you can really go and you can list... Uh, let's look at, under this clubhouse, you have a small kitchen. So you can just do a different uh, indent here. And the kitchen must have, again, each one, it is a specification. Must have a fridge, must have a stove, must have a double sink. You can see how I'm just piling on the specifications at the moment. Hand wash basin, you can go on and on and on. So doing this helps you create a list of things. And of course, please don't just write the actual words like I'm doing. Elaborate a little bit. Make sure it's clear, we communicate it. In the end here, we're going to have constraints. Okay. What is a constraint? A constraint is something that restricts you, that limits you. So something that that's a specification here is the 180 square meters that you may not exceed. But it's also, a, of course, a constraint. So you can again word it. I am constrained by the 180 square meters okay, limit. You are limited by the single story. You can't build a double story. Okay? Um, you are uh, uh, um, limited by the type of roof that's, that's being used. So you can come up with at least three things that, that's constraining you, that's limiting you in this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to, of course, then do it nicely on a Word document and... I really encourage my learners to do it on an A3 already, so it's nicely laid out. And if you could, try not to have empty spaces like this on your actual pages. Make sure you add maybe a nice picture that you got from the internet, etc. Um, before I go on to the management plan, let me just show you your summative assessment sheet. Now, this is right at the back of your pad, okay? And this is the actual document which is going to be used for you to gain your actual marks. And you can always kind of get an idea of where you are at. Again, make sure your numbering corresponds with this sheet. The first paragraph, background and comprehensive description of what to design, that's going to be awarded two marks. Second paragraph, your role in the design process and how you are going to go follow. So that's again, I'm going to do research, I'm going to do concept designs, your role and the process, okay? Then all the specifications, which I've discussed, three constraints. If you adhere to these, you're going to get two, 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 and you're going to end up with full marks here. The last one is the management plan with target dates of all presentation requirements. That's If you've done that, it's going to be 10 out of 10. Let me show you a management plan quickly. Of course, this is just an example. You can kindly go and prepare your own. But... It's a list of the different design requirements, and you, uh, this learner actually titled it again, 1.5, the same as on this document, management plan, and then the numbering is the same, listed it, design brief, comprehensive summary, my role, specifications, proposed new uh, dates. Now, of course, these dates will be different according to the management plan provided by your teacher or the pay sector and the actual date when you did that. That's important. That's an overview of the management plan. If you stick to it, you're going to get 10 out of 10 and you're going to absolutely nail this video. In my next video, I'm going to talk a little bit more on this component, the research, and what is the requirements to make sure you get 10 out of 10. Thank you for watching.